what's going on. <laughs> the reason I'm not laughing at it because uh, I had some people make make fun of me that I said that that <laughs> that I always started my uh, YouTube videos, but um, I am going to talk about today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hopefully, the volume's good on this. What I want to talk about is one of the most important things. And it's also one of the most fundamental and simplest things you could say. And this is what they're after. This is what people need to become aware of. But also more importantly, there's people who use there's manipulators and there's people who are aware of what they're doing and not aware of what they're doing. So that that's what we need to come to terms with or in between for that matter. And no one would be doing manipulation on purpose if they knew what they're actually doing. <laughs> So, but that's a little bit more complex, but at the end of it, no one's going to do, no one that's aware is going to do negative things because they're going to have to fight those negative things. Some people would call those demons. Not in the sense of what a lot of people say, but we could also say negative energy or entities souls, whatever you want to use, uh, minions, whatever, like there's so many, so many names. Those are all good names. And what we're, what I want to talk about is focus because <clears throat> what manipulators want to do is take the focus away from yourself. Because obviously, ultimately, they don't have it on their self. Because once you have it on yourself, then, <clears throat> then you know about focus. And you're not necessarily, there's not really words for what I'm about to say. <laughs> there's nothing there. But once you gain, again, this awareness, because your focus is everything. And people, there's people who say they have things such as ADHD. Hopefully this comes out in the volume. ADHD and also short attention problems. Memory, short memory, memory loss, dementia. Because to me, dementia is just a word. It's not necessarily a disease. Maybe once it got so bad to a degree where you can't, you know, repundle, repun that, aka get rid of that, reverse it, that disease, then okay. But dementia can be probably used in shorter terms for certain things. More so jokingly. Because that's a serious issue that no one, hopefully no one has to deal with. So once you gain focus, because focus is everything. I'm not going to make this video long. Focus is everything. And wherever you put your focus, you're feeding some sort of energy to it. <laughs> that's, that's our life in a circumstance. In a nutshell. That is our life because it's wherever your focus is. You can't. That video got cut off, but no one's even going to tell. <laughs> your focus is where the life is. So wherever you focus in your life, whether you're aware or not aware, there's still some focus being there. Most people focus on their mind, their mind, 
thoughts inside their head, or they focus on, again, their mind, but maybe some, maybe with a little bit external avenue to get there, stimulus to get there, <clears throat> because once you realize there's always a focus inside of you and it's your main, your main focal point is inside of you. It's not out here. It's actually in here, your main focal point. That focal point doesn't have thoughts. That focal point is damn near still all the time. It can... I don't know, I mean... There's not, there's not any words for it, but it's still inside of you. That's the point. <laughs> That's what you need to know and come to realize. What manipulators do, or people who are inside their ego, they will do things, unless it's for fun, <laughs> but people will, most of the time it's not, it's because their sheer, sheer effort out of them wants them to do something that they want to do for selfish reasons, but more so manipulate you, manipulate you in some way, whether it's a physical or mental way. Um, that's the mentality of it. The, the, it doesn't have to be a physical thing. Like slavery can be enslaved in many different ways and not just its power in different ways, manifested in different ways. And you wouldn't do this if you if you actually seen the focal point in you and seen what it was really about, what it really is, the isness of it, <laughs> then, then you'll see. Because wherever you put your focus, whether it's on a screen, a TV, certain channels, or just a person in the room, you're putting their energy in your focus right there. And folks, this isn't a complex thing. This is a very simple thing, but I I'm done talking. What I wanna say from the gratification for this is your focus, don't let anyone take that away because everyone wants your attention and your attention can only be where you want it to be on the select few things because ultimately they, that's what it's going to be. Um, even when I think about a lot of people, I'm only, it's only one thought of about a bunch of people. <laughs> when, you know, when I think about music, I just think about, I don't really think about anything other than the word music because I do music, that's why I brought this point up. But I'm not thinking about, even let's just, let's just say like, I have a bunch of hit songs, like five, 10 hit songs. Even when I say music, I'm not thinking about my hit songs or any of my songs, just music. Like, and there's not, there's really nothing there when I think of that even even me saying like my hit songs because like yeah, I just there I just you could say I do music I play music I do music live it's just there and that's it so that's it for the video and hopefully that cap captures your attention um that's yeah, that's all I want to say for this video. I mean, it's it's it, that's a big topic that could be talked about forever because because fo focus is your it's like where your conscious is going in that direction, and that's where. So, like, if you have a sad thought, and let's just say your body is healthy, and there's really no reason to have you you attract you put your light, you put your uh, thought dimension light on this sad thought that maybe just occurred in your mind for whatever reason, for the past, something now, thought, th thought about a relative or someone that's not here anymore or just a sad event. So you can, 
see that this is coming, that you're putting your focus there, and why are you actually thinking about it? Do you want to be sad? Are you recognizing that you're thinking about, uh, thinking about it? The sad thought? Or is it just so happened to be that your brain took control of your awareness and your consciousness, aka your focus, the point of this video, <laughs> and you're focusing on this sad thought. So the sad thought is going to grip you and hold you. Yes, it applies more importantly in your mind than the outside external world. Because when we come back to things, our the way we receive reality, which is so precious in the words that I say, when we perceive reality, it's how we feel about it. Not even in a physical sense, though it is, it is, but more so a lot of people are take their thoughts and are into their thoughts. And that's what torments them. Thinking about stuff that's not here anymore that happened years ago that's probably never going to happen again, such as reliving a memory. <clears throat> because the memory is always living. <laughs> that's the paradox to it. <laughs> it almost never ends. It's a journey and it's fucking for an eternity. <laughs> um, and it's mind boggling because it boggles your mind because it's not meant to be boggled by your mind because it's just there. <laughs> All right, subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.